Hello guys, this is Baj and today I am going to tell you about how you can dual boot Windows 10 and Ubuntu 17. For this you need to have one pen drive so that to make it bootable and to make it bootable you need one software that is Rufus and few other softwares. One is Easy US Partition Manager and you can even use Mini Tool Partition Manager but I prefer Easy US Partition because it is simple to use and um, one software is easy bcd so i will give the link in description for all three softwares now open easy us partition manager first and make a drive of 30 gb or 40 gb whatever the size you prefer for ubuntu means whatever you want but i suggest you don't select less than 25 gb so I am selecting 30 GB format this drive to ext uh, format ext file type and then click on this ok apply and yes now this process will take a little longer so I am going to fast forward for uh, this process and because it will took around five to six minutes so So when this process is completed now and when this process is completed just close this easy us partition manager now open rufus and now you will have to select that pen drive and here select the iso file of ubuntu and make sure that you have connected your pen drive and select the correct location and then click on this start button but if you are using rufus for the first time you need to download few files and for this you need to connect to some wi-fi or internet connection so click on this start button again and it will download few files files are downloaded now it will extract ISO file into your pen drive and make it bootable so here again I have fast forward this process and now the process is completed close this rufus window and just go to that start button restart your laptop here if you have made usb drive as your first boot option then there is no problem but if usb storage is not your first boot option then press that F12 in Dell or F18 HP to go into a boot menu option. Here I have all the boot menu options. So I am selecting this USB storage here.
Now here you will see two options try Ubuntu and install Ubuntu. So if you want to try Ubuntu just go on select try Ubuntu option means you can have an idea how Ubuntu is but I'm going to install this so I'm selecting install Ubuntu option and here I don't want to connect to any Wi-Fi right now so I'm skipping this option again I'm skipping this option also because I have not connected to any internet so I press continue button Now here are a few options that install Ubuntu alongside Windows 10 and other erase disk and install Ubuntu. So click on this install Ubuntu alongside Windows 10 and then go to that advanced partitioning tool option and down there and click on this. There you will see a partition manager kind of software. In and here is that partition ext partition which you have created by using EZUS partition manager so double click on this and select that ext for journaling file system and tick and in mount point select forward slash and tick on format the partition and then ok and click on the continue option when you get this dialog box and be careful while doing this because if you have select any other partition you will lost all your data in that partition and if you don't change the partition to the particular disk it will also erase all your hard disk and install the Ubuntu in it so be careful doing in this step because this is to save your data so please watch this carefully and when this process is done you will see that a tick in front of that ext4 format and be sure that there is a tick in front of ext4 only there is there should not be a, any other tick and then select that sta3 partition means same partition which you have a tick on and the same partition in that option also in drop down and then click on continue means install and then select your time zone i am from india and selecting india and continue now select keyboard layout I'm selecting English US here click on continue and now type your name means all the details which were asked
and now when you're done just click on this continue button and you want to will start installing in your laptop here i am going to fast forward this section also because it is also taking so much of time so i have fast forward the process to make the video a little shorter And now when you have installed uh, Ubuntu means installation is completed you will see that restart now button so click on that restart button restart now button and your laptop will restart and if there is already made a boot menu means at a startup you will see Windows 10 and you want to 17 means both the dual boot options so that would be a very great but if there is only a windows 10 means it automatically starts in windows 10 so you have to do some extra steps there to add windows 17 in boot menu so how you can do that i will show in i am going to show this in the same video here first log into your windows 10 now you will see that you have to install this easy bcd and after installing this you have to open this easy bcd option application and there you will see add new entry and click on this and go to that linux tab and select this sys linux and then select the partition in which you have installed Ubuntu so uh, we have installed in that 30 GB partition so selecting that partition and give the name to the boot entry so you will I'm going to add Ubuntu 17.04 LTS and then click on this add entry button Now you have added the entry and go to this edit boot menu option and there you have you are going to see that Ubuntu 17.04 added you can now save settings and exit this easy bcd and now restart your laptop again
so now you see that there are two options available windows 10 and ubuntu 17 so i am selecting this ubuntu 17 book and opening this ubuntu Now open this Ubuntu. now enter your password which you have entered at the time of installation to log into your account now you have installed window sorry ubuntu 17.04 in your laptop Now, thanks for watching this video. Do subscribe to my channel. Please like this video if you find this helpful and appreciate my work. And comment your suggestions and queries down in the comment section so that I can help you by your suggestions. So, thank you again.